welcome to my vegan kitchen. Have I got a recipe for you guys today. So, you guys know how much I love jerk, right? And jackfruit, I've gotten to like it more. Well, I've got a recipe for you guys. Oh my God, you gotta stick around. I'm gonna do it now. with a can of jackfruit. I was thinking maybe use two cans, but just for this recipe, I'm gonna do one can. And we're using green jackfruit, young jackfruit. This one I got from Trader Joe's, but you can practically get jackfruit from anywhere now. So let me bust this can open and show you what it looks like. Especially for those of you who've never really seen what jackfruit looks like. I get comments sometimes from some of you guys who said that you've had jackfruit in your pantry and you've never really opened it, so you have no idea what it looks like. So let me show you what it looks like now. This is what it looks like. So come in close so they can see. So jackfruit is a fruit. It's a very large fruit. When it's ripe, it's sweet. When it's green, it's not. It practically doesn't have any flavor, but because it's sitting in a can, it has a little bit of a briny taste. So we're going to soak it. But if you come in close, you get to see what it looks like. It has fibers. So when you cook it, it almost takes on the taste of chicken. It has those fibery pieces that just would look like chicken. So get water all over the counter. Let me um, toss this so you can see. I'm going to use a colon co colander. I'm going to toss the jackfruit right in there and then I'm just going to fill this up with water because I want this to soak and get rid of that briny taste. So I'm going to let it sit for probably about 10 minutes or so. Just let it sit in the water and then I'll show you guys what we're going to do next with the jackfruit. I've allowed the jackfruit to sit about 10 minutes so it can kind of get that briny flavor off. And I'm just trying to get rid of all the water that I possibly, possibly could get out of that. I'm gonna take a dishcloth because I wanna dry this jackfruit out as much as possible. So I'm just gonna wrap it in the dishcloth and just kind of squeeze it. And when I squeeze it, I'm just really trying to get out all of the water, trying to get it to a really dry texture. All right, I think that's enough. Now in a bowl, this is what it's gonna look like. So it's all kind of, you know, dried out and broken up. You're just gonna take your hands and you're gonna break that jackfruit down inside of a bowl, seeds and all. We're gonna put the seeds in here. It will just kind of break up and cook down. You could use your fingers to kind of break down those seeds also. So they're not like whole pieces of seed, but we're just gonna shred these down to smaller pieces. Now we've got the jackfruit shredded come in so we can see this is what you want it to look like. Just like shredded pieces of chicken. So we're gonna move over here to my skillet. I have a skillet heating up on medium heat. I'm gonna add some grapeseed oil. Ooh, it's heating up, you see that? And guys, don't worry, I will have all the measurements listed below. Just kind of follow me now. So we're just gonna pour the jackfruit right into this pan and we're gonna get it nice and brown. I'm gonna try to get it as brown as possible. That's gonna probably take a couple of minutes. Let me get all this goodness in here. I don't wanna miss any of it because this is so good, guys. This is so good. All right, grab a spoon. Let's move it around in the pan a little bit and let's get this browned up and get it cooked. All right now, our jackfruit have browned up, so come and let me show you. So this is as brown as it's gonna get. So you, if you notice, if you come in close, you see there's pieces that are brown, but then there's still some white pieces. This is perfect, this is how you want it to be. Now we're gonna season it up. All right, we're going to, what I did, I chopped some green onions. So I chopped like two stalks of green onions, and we're gonna throw that in right now. Then I'm going to add jerk seasoning. We're going to add that in. I like my spicy, so I'm going to add maybe like a tablespoon. You don't have to do that much. You know, kind of gauge your spiciness. Make sure you taste it so you can know how spicy it is, so you can know how much you put in it. I'm just going to shake up this Korean barbecue sauce or bulgogi sauce. This one I got at um, Whole Foods. But you could get it in your farmer's market, you can get it in Asian markets, 
is really good because it's completely seasoned. That's what I like with it. It is full of seasoning, so I don't have to add anything else. I don't have to add ginger or any of those types of seasonings. So come in full to let the people see what it looks like. This is what we want our jackfruit meat to look like. All right, so let me toss that around. I'm gonna turn my flame down low and I'm gonna allow it to cook for a couple of minutes. All right guys, we gave it about three minutes or so. Come in, let them see. This is what the meat gonna look like. That is jerk goodness in this. This you can eat just, you can put this over rice and just eat it just like this. It's delicious. You can put it in, um, I don't know, put it in a roti, eat it like this. You could put it in whatever you want and eat it like this. It's delicious. All right, so we're gonna turn the stove off because we do have to let this fill in cool a little bit. So I'm just gonna give it like a, like maybe 10 minutes or so and let it cool down. And then I'm gonna come back and show you what we're gonna do next. Cause you guys are gonna love it. It's so good, it's so good, it's so good. So my jackfruit have cooled down. I have it in this bowl. And I'm gonna just place it right here. I have some cooked rice that I have cooked in my rice cooker. That has cooled down. So now we have some cold rice and we have some jerk jackfruit. I have my skillet. I use the heavier skillet because I like the non-stick um, part of it and I like that it heats up very evenly so this is gonna cook it nice and crispy. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of grapeseed oil to the pan. All right, and I'm gonna let that heat up some more. Now, let me grab a spoon. You're following with me, right, guys? All right, this is what we're gonna do. Let me get my rice together. Come in close so they can see. You don't have to stand so far away. I am just mixing up my rice, just trying to get it loose because it was still in the rice cooker, so it was kind of like, you know, stuck together. All right, I'm gonna take my spoon, and this is just like a kitchen tablespoon. I'm gonna grab enough rice. I'm gonna place it in the center of my hand, and I'm gonna squeeze that press that rice, not squeeze it, press that rice together. We're trying to get it really like gooey and doughy. You know what, let me use my hand. And we're gonna press that rice together. You see how doughy it got, it's really sticky. And the type of rice that I'm using is a short grain rice because short grain rice gets really sticky and that's what we want. I'm gonna use my pointer finger, but I'm using the knuckle and I'm just making like a little bit of a, um, center, just like a little cradle right there. I'm going to take my um, jackfruit and I'm going to place it right in the center. And I'm not using that much jackfruit. I'm using probably about a teaspoon amount of jackfruit. And then I'm going to grab some, I'm going to place this down. Give me two seconds. Let me place this. I'm going to grab another handful of rice and I'm just going to press it again to make a ball not to make a ball, but to like get it like, you know, like stuck together. And then I'm gonna take the bottom half, I'm gonna press it right up to the top and I'm gonna make a ball. So the meat is inside of that rice and I'm gonna press it all together. And I'm gonna press it to make sure it sticks. Nothing is poking out. I'm just gonna continue to press it till everything is stuck. We don't want any of that meat popping out either. So if you need to add a little bit more rice just to cover it up, do so. Guys, come in. Here's the shape. It's a perfect shape. Now you can make it more rounded if you like. I like this kind of like egg shape because I know when it's fried, I could just kind of hold it like this and bite it. Also, tip, wet your hands a little bit. That is gonna keep the rice from sticking to your hands. This is so perfect. And then our pot is nice and hot. We're gonna place it right in the hot pot and let it fry up. So let me continue to do the rest of them and then I'm gonna show you how to flip it and what you gotta do to get it nice and brown. All right guys, so I was able to get four in this pot. Now, I only made one cup of rice. So that's how much, well, one cup of uncooked rice. So once it's cooked, this is how much rice it was able to provide to make four. So if you wanna make more, just cook more rice. Cause I still have some jackfruit left behind and I'm probably gonna use some old rice to make some more. But for this dinner, I only need these four. So with these stuffed 
pan pies, we're trying to get them really brown and crispy on the outside. So come and let me show you. So I have one that's, all, that's done on one side already. So you see how crispy it is on this side? I'm gonna flip this one over. And a great way to get a nice crispy brown, I'm taking some of that bulgogi sauce. I'm just gonna wipe it right on the bottom. And then when I flip it over, I'll give it one more flip and that will help to brown it up. The little bit of sugar that's in here will give it a nice brown, crispy, tan bottom. Guys, these are done. So remember what I said, we use the bulgogi sauce. Once it has browned on both sides, and it won't be as brown as it looks here. So come in, let everybody see. It won't be as brown as it is here. It's gonna be lightly browned. The bulgogi sauce is gonna give it that brownness. It's also gonna give it the sugar that it needs to really brown it up and crisp it up, okay? So these are done. You see, I have those two on the side. I'm gonna take these out and we're gonna just let them rest a little bit because unlike the other foods that I tasted hot, you can't taste these hot. This rice will burn the heck out of you. So I'm gonna let this cool down. So I'm just gonna place this on the side, let it cool down. And then when we come back, I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna show you guys how good this is. Guys, so it's done. So we're gonna call it <laughs> jerk jackfruit rice balls. These are absolutely delicious. Let me tell you, I was making these, and if you notice, I was only able to get four out of the one cup of rice that I made, right? I had to put some more rice. Look, I had to put the rice cooker back on. I had to make more rice because my husband walked in and was like, wait, you making those rice things? Please make some more because everybody loves it. And it's, it's gonna be gone. By the time I take a bite, eat a second one, it's gonna be over. You guys gotta make this, but let's taste it. Let me show you guys what it tastes like so, or what it looks like. So this is it done. I threw some cilantro. You could put whatever. You could put on a bed of lettuce if you want. These are just really great for um, traveling. So this is good if you're going to be traveling. Pack it up. You can have it room temperature. It doesn't have to be hot. You could take it on a picnic. It's just perfect because you could just hold it right in your hand. And I just want you coming close so they can hear it. This one got a little crispy brown, but that's fine. It's even better. I don't know if you guys remember like when the rice is kind of burnt at the bottom of the pot, especially when the rice is seasoned, how good that is. That's what the outside tastes like. And if you can hear it, it's nice and crunchy. It's nice and dry. It is perfect. Nothing is going to fall out of here. The kids, it's easy for kids to hold and eat. And this is a complete meal. So let me break it so you guys can see what it looks like. So come in a little closer so they can see what it looks like. So when you break it, there go the jackfruit. All the meat is on the inside. Perfect, perfect. Let me taste it. Oh, it's all gummy. I love it. Oh my God. I got hair go. Mmm. Can you hear the crunch? This is so damn good. Now, don't try to come for me if y'all don't eat rice. Because this, you're gonna eat rice. This is so damn delicious. Oh my God. Let me go wipe my hands. Don't you want? It looks more complicated than it is. As you can see, it's just cooked rice. You stuff it, you make a patty, you put it in a pan. Try to use um, a nonstick pan or something like cast iron. Cast iron gives a lot of heat, so it's gonna give it that nice crispy outside that it needs. But this, this is the recipe, guys. You guys gotta try this. This, oh my God. All right, guys. I'm not gonna chew it apart. Thank you for joining me in my vegan kitchen. Don't forget, <clears throat> I'm joking because I talk too much. Don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and hit that button. Tap on the bell so you could get the reminders when my videos come out. And I appreciate you guys. I'm so grateful for having you in my kitchen. I'll see you next time. Go try this recipe. Oh my gosh. All right. Bye, guys. Mm. Mm.